Hello everyone, my name is Masayuki Hoshi. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to apply the opticalized color to the gradier materials internally, externally. After you apply is a gradier, it's a uh, obaceous dentin and also dentin, I will suggest you it uh, make a tooth canvas. Like a regular, uh, when you uh, go outside and uh, make a, a, a drawing the picture with uh, oil paint or water paint, it's the same like a canvas. It, uh, we, uh, I like to have tooth canvas. Then continue if you decided to use you don't need to any apply clear, just only color only. Then so any color you want. Oh, I like to have more a little bit of orange uh, uh, A shade, A uh, plus shade, and shake well. Then dropped A shade or B shade or C shade color first. Then if you want, it's a gray color. Shake well. Then ivory, then blue. So now is I will do internal stains. First, if you want to, it's a little bit darker here internally. This time is a shade. Then just paint it on. You like it? This time is just ten seconds. Light cure it, just temporarily cure it, not completely, the half cure. Then next, if we want to marmalade internally, this time exactly the same way, just paint it on. Then if we want to blue effect in the corner, just paint it on like a, a oil paint or a water paint. I like to use white, just a little bit halo effect. Don't too much. Any effect, if we want to internally, you can create with opticalized colors. Very easy to create this, those uh, color. Then after that, before you apply is the enamel layer top of that, I like to you to cure. After five minutes light cure, this is actually come with, come from, uh, this is after, uh, after uh, light cure for internal stains. Then return to model. Then now we decided which enamel layer top of the these crumbs. So first, this target shade is A3. But my crown touch darker than target shade A3. Then so I pick lighter enamel E1 to top of the disc crowns. Then I picked an enamel E1, lighter enamel, then pick it up, the very thin layer, covered, then creating a final shade, shape. Enamel you pick, uh, apply it, and making a final shape. As you can see, automatically very close color as a shade guide. Then you can see some color internally. After applied in the enamel E, then make all shape as uh, any, uh, you apply the finished applications, enamel applications, then took off the crown from marrow, then you fix it at the land margins and, uh, and also the contact area, just a little bit 
uh, added to it. Then, uh, ready to final cure. Before final cure, make sure I'd like to you to use is a uh, air barrier to apply it all over. Then, final cure three minutes with GC double light. Then, removed uh, air barrier with brush and water. Then, reshape it, it in a shape and contouring. After contouring, crown came out like this. Then next is a ready to final stain. Then so I applied in the very thin layer of the clear first. Then try to match a three shade guide, like with the shade guide. Then so if if you need more add some colors, this time I will pick is uh, any color you want from uh, optic rays color. Then, for example, I like to use a B or whatever color. Before use, please shake well. Then, paint it on and try to match color like a shade guide. Then, if we if we want. Freeze the color, just temporary, not permanent. Then apply a thin coat of the clear. I always do thin, thin coat of clear all over thin layers. Then final cure in the five minutes. This is the final after final final cures, five minutes. Then so all completely cured. Then you can get nice color. <laughs>